wants to hear what the voluntary and community sector has to say. And I've come both to talk to the sector and to learn from it. Engagement between Parliament and the voluntary and community sector, which is such an important part of local and national life, is vital. I'm here to start that engagement and to encourage it to be built. In the present climate, it's more important than ever that the voluntary and community sector should be able to show its worth, deliver more for less, and emphasise to Parliament how necessary its provision is to huge numbers of people, particularly the most vulnerable in society. All of us in the region have got a role to play in shaping the opportunity for good health and well-being. All the evidence says that some of the ways in which the third sector works, embedded in local communities, is crucial to supporting strong, empowered communities. And I think the third sector has got a real opportunity to work alongside individuals, communities, to ensure that we really address the needs of everyone in the North West. We're in a real period of significant uncertainty and significant change, and I think that we, as a voluntary community sector need to hold our nerve at the moment. I think that the big society offers enormous opportunities, enormous potential. We are unique in the sense that we are absolutely representative of the uh, populations and the communities that we serve and so therefore we're key in terms of any delivery and we should play a much much more meaningful and bigger role in terms of shaping that future direction. The challenge I think I've already mentioned is actually surviving between now and until then. We are volunteer led which means that our groups, our member groups, are all constituted local number of groups, residents associations, number of watches, tenants and residents groups, uh, people who get together in local communities, we know paid staff who do things for themselves which fits very nicely with this change to to taking responsibility both individual and collective as part of this push for the so-called big society. Whatever it is that you think is really important about what you do, that's your key message and that's what you need to bear in mind when you're thinking about your stories. I think there's opportunities as well as very obviously, obviously threats coming through and I think if we can work well enough then, and we're able to, then we'll pick up some of those opportunities. It's actually how to influence all the people who want to be part of and have engaged them. I think today is about learning what opportunities there are to influence the work of Parliament, lobby more effectively around trying to demonstrate the effectiveness of the voluntary community sector. Where equalities issues now are seen as being mainstreamed, and actually race isn't an issue anymore, gender isn't an issue anymore, we're mainstreaming now. But finding out a bit more about the other projects and the other things that are going on. The idea that a mainly Conservative government would be talking so much about the third sector is, I think, a big surprise to lots of people. So I think we need to be um, exploiting the opportunities of uh, that, that potentially big society might give us to uh, influence uh, policy and decision makers. I think there are opportunities, but until things become clearer, it's harder to know which direction to move in. We love this law. And what we try to do is to work between those two, take alternative ideas and try to force them into or push with or talk to the traditional economic sphere over there. I think it's hard to feel optimistic in the present circumstances when we know that there are so many uh, jobs at stake, so many services to some of the poorest in our society that, that, that are at risk. But it is also a time of, of opportunity, it's a time of change. and we're, we're going to have to find different ways of doing things. I do think that makes it all the more important that we have events like today uh, that bring people together so people can share ideas. And, you know, we, we've got to encourage and support each other. We've got to keep each other going, keep each other's spirits up through hard times. There's no reason not to feel that we have everything to gain and nothing to lose. I think it's been really comprehensive. We've got a, a real diverse range of um, workshops, um, but some significant keynote speakers. I think that's been really vital as far as my, my information shows. The voluntary sector is an intrinsic component of a good society. The voluntary sector is key to the big society. Uh, it's key in defining what the big society should be all about, and that should be an activist animated civil society. Ensure that the decision makers are listening to us as they go about cuts in a way that at the moment is with an axe when it needs to be with a scalp and we need to ensure that they understand they need to invest. The voluntary community sector has been a force for good for years gone by and it will continue to be a force for good. Big society or no big society agenda. We mustn't be seen as a cheap option and the easy way to privatisation for the government. <laughs>